Hello everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to another Let's Play Animal Crossing. In this episode I'm going to do a few things to prepare my island for my first ever build. So it's going to be a lot of terraforming and digging things up, but I want to go to Cap, I want to Cap an Island. Hopefully I get to do that, right? Oh, I forgot that it was festival. Well, at least they're happy, right? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Right now on Arendelle, it's 7.58 a.m. on Monday, February 12th, 2024. Today we have a professional dancer here to help us celebrate festival. If you want to boogie, the plaza is the place to be. Now for additional announcements. First we have an ordinance update. I'm happy to announce that special rules called ordinances can now be enacted here on Arendelle. Ordinance are a great way to help improve the everyday lives of our residents. They have quite a lot of responsibility however and anyone enacting one should understand everyone's needs. That's why our resident rep Amelia will be in charge of ordinance on Arendelle. How exciting. Amelia if you're listening I can't wait to see what you'll change. If anyone has any questions about ordinances please come and see me at resident services. Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about our new kind of tour available. Starting today, residents can go on a boat tour to uninhabited islands. These tours are a little different than the ones they offer at the airport. You get aboard a boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to your destination. There are lots of uninhabited islands out there that can, that can only be reached by boat. Rumour has it there are plenty of DIY materials on these islands and even strange things buried in the ground. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? The boat tours are available once a day using miles. Interested residents should head down to the island pier and speak to the boat captain. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Timmy from Nooks Cranny. I've sent a payment to your bank account for 275,392 bells for what you've left in the drop off box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. So, surprise, surprise, after I recorded the previous video, I did a lot of deep sea diving and fishing to make up all of those. I didn't sort of cheat and go to a treasure island. And I got this little cardigan from the sky. So I thought that's cute. So today I'm going to, as I said in the intro, I'm going to prepare my island for my first ever build. But I need to do a lot of things. Like I need to, to move a lot of things out of the way because I'm not sure how much room that I'll need. And this cute pond is obviously going to have to go. And so is this forest. For now, I'm going to keep this here. Oh, I screwed up. So first things first, I need to go to resident services. I'm probably, knowing my luck, I'm probably going to trigger a whole bunch of dialogue. Yes, this is what I need. Thank you. 
So I'm just going to go over to Nook's Cranny and I'm going to purchase the recipe pack because I've got the upgrade now. Hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. So maybe I should sell these things that I've got. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 1,030 bells. Sound good? Perfect. I like how we can just calculate things without a calculator, just at the top of his head. This is a digital book filled with food and drink recipes. It's called Basic Cooking Recipes. Let's see, that's 4,980 bells. I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. Okay, time to send you the recipes from basic cooking recipes to your phone. So get out my phone. We're done. We hope you enjoy making food and drinks even more with all those new recipes. Anything else look interesting? Oh, I don't get the festival thing. Oh, that's a shame. Feel a bit ripped off. So before I go to the back part of the island, I need to get the pipe. So I'm just going to go inside and collect a... Sorry, that's absolute chaos out there. Some type of ramp because I want to move things to the back so I have more space. I've realised I don't have the invitation from Harp. Have I forgotten to go to Harp's Island? Or did I not check my mailbox? <laughs> ah, Amelia. Hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Hmm? So I'm going to get just the cheapest set of stairs I can get. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? Um, bridges and inclines. Bridges and inclines. Hmm? How can I help you? Let's make an incline. Curious about setting up an incline? Ramps and stairs make it easier to ascend our cliffs. Yes, yes. Go ahead and pick one out of our catalogue, please. So I'm just going to use this natural one. I am technically throwing away 100k because I may demolish this at some point. It's highly likely that I will, but... A natural ramp. And do you want to proceed with the construction of this incline? Yes, please. Excellent. In that case, let's settle on a location next. Use the incline maker kit I placed within your pockets to set aside some land for our incline project. You want a decent amount of space to use it and make sure you're standing near the base of a cliff. When you're ready, you'll be able to imagine what your new incline will look like. Okay, so I'm going to need some money. It's 
So while I'm here, I'm going to do a, a few things. Can I afford to pay off my incline and my house? Let's find out. Yes. So now I'm poor. So I'm just gonna get another home loan because why not? So I got a question. Does he build this stuff himself? Is that why he needs Isabel? So at some stage I may have to do a bit of um, deep sea diving to generate more money. So realistically, I was hoping... So I'm just going to get rid of this plant because it's going to have to go anyway. So I feel like this is going to be enough room for the bridge, right? I just lost a tree. No. So I'm just going to pay Lloyd. Yeah, you see that's done. So I'm just going to put this pipe here. And I'm going to make a couple of those permanent ladders that you can use. Coincidentally, we're going to put the first ladder here. So I'm just going to put this here and this one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get rid of all the flowers. And while I'm here, I'm going to start getting rid of all the yellow flowers. Actually, I'll put a red one here and I'll put a white one here. And because I'm... Oops, desperate for money. I'm going to shake all these trees and, ho and cross my fingers that they all have, you know, that coin. I'm just doing this for the Nook Miles. I get like, I think it's double. Oh, why? This is the kind of day I'm having. So it turns out I did actually have a spare axe. So that was good news. Sorry, I've got a real problem with, I like to have my pockets really neatly ordered and I know that's mental, but I can't help it. So I really just want all of the trees in the same place. It's why I'm constantly rearranging my pockets, just in case you're wondering. Do you do that? Do you like your pockets neatly ordered in a, in a particular way? Or am I the only one? I'm hoping I'm not right. And the other thing is I've got really bad hand-eye coordination, so yeah. So I need to remember I can't hit a rock just yet. And the other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get rid of the rivers on this upper level. I'm not going to flatten the entire island, mainly because I want to wait and see whether I need these and if I don't I'm just gonna demolish them as I build. So I've decided not to keep going lengthways because I feel like I'm gonna come into a bit of a problem.
And I'm just going to find places, new places for these trees. No, that's too close to that arrangement. I want them to actually grow something. So I'm just going to repeat the process, whoops, up here. This one's going to be a huge thing to get rid of. So I think I'll only need to demolish part of it and then demolish the rest like as needed. I've shaken the trees, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Ooh, that was really close. That was almost a tragedy for me. That's right, I've shaken that one. So I need to do a bit of waterscaping. It's because you can't demolish these upper cliffs when they have water in them, which is a bit tragic. Because I haven't done anything naughty to my switch, so I have to, yeah, get rid of these water things. Yay, last square. So I'm just going to get rid of this section here first. I think realistically this is as close as I can get. So I'm just going to chop this larger piece up into bigger sections. Yeah, so I think this should definitely be enough room for the museum. And after I finish this terraforming, I think I'm going to terraform a passage to the secret beach. Because I've noticed there's a huge corner there that I could just get rid of, that's sort of curved. Yeah, so like this. So I can access the secret beach without the drama. While I'm here, I'm just going to go into the museum and see if I trigger the coffee shop, right? The roost. Yep. Hmm. Ah. Who toot? Oh dear. I didn't see you there, Amelia. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. You see, there's a matter of much... Actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me? See, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum. I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. So I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine, who also happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, he seems he's closed up shop and no one appears to know where he's gone. However, in my search I also caught wind of a newly unearthed group of gyroids. Brewster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you see, in much the same way as I do around fossils. I wager my very wings that Brewster has heard about these gyroids as well. Naturally, you can see where this is going. I would like you to take up search for Brewster. That is a photograph of Brewster. You find him and tell him I'd like him to come to Arendelle. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier are all found on the islands where Cap'n leads his tours. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but I hope you know you have my every confidence and utmost gratitude. 
Good luck, Amelia. Yay, so I can go on a Cap'n tour now. So let's go on my on a Cap'n boat tour, shall we? I've just realised I've forgotten to sell this stuff. Oh, it's this way, right? Let's look at the map. Yep. I'm pretty sure I've been to Halves Island, right? Hmm. You ready to take a tour? Round trip fare cost you thousand miles. I am ready. Yeah, that's thousand miles then. Time to set sail. Watch you step as you hop aboard. Love the fact that I have that reaction now. Oh wow, you can see right up my coat. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> I think I'm gonna steal some shrubs. Maybe I'll take one of these shrubs so he can have more room to walk around. here looking for gyroids too? That's right. I hope you find a gyroid. Who, you need something? You know a Brewster? Do I know a who? Who, you're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Blathers sent me to ask you to come to our island. I see, I hear you. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also, this is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it in the ground, give it some water and some time. It will grow up strong the next day. Gyroids take root fast when you return them to the ground. Yay! Well then, we'll be seeing you. Nice! I'm ready to go home. So maybe tomorrow I get to open Harps Island. Just need to bury these guys. I'm just going to sell a few things. And the mistake I always make is I forget to tell Brewster that I've found... No, I forget to tell Lathers that i found Brewster. So I'm going to do that now, because if you don't do that, it won't trigger the remodel of the museum. Oh dear, pardon me. Are you still searching for that certain coffee curating Columba Day? By which I mean Brewster? Yep, I found him. Who, allow me to add a hoot. Why, that is simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? 
Oh, that's simply marvellous news. What a relief. That Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow. So I expect he'll make his way here forthwith. Uh, what? I suppose that means... Oh dear, I must make arrangements for his arrival straight away. To that end, I'm afraid I'll need to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. If everything goes as planned, we shall reopen the day after next with a cafe service in place. This is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. Yay! I don't drink coffee in real life, but Animal Crossing Amelia certainly does. She's thrilled. And now I'm going to have to move the, move the museum. So I can move around it. I'm hoping to put a pipe here and a tree in front of it and then the shop and then Abel sisters here. So that's the plan. So fingers crossed it all goes well, right? I'm going to time travel to the next day and continue moving the other buildings over and I'm just going to keep going like that until all the buildings are along the back. Hello there everyone, right now on Arendelle it's 12.37pm on Tuesday February 13th 2024. Now for today's announcements. I'm very happy to announce that the museum is adding a cafe. The museum is closed for remodeling today but the inconvenience will be worth it I'm sure. My sincerest apologies to our museum's esteemed patrons. I hope everyone will visit the completed cafe tomorrow. Flavors asked me to pass on that message to everyone. I hope I captured his strained excitement. <laughs> and with that, I get back to work supporting you and your environment of our island. <laughs> Do you think Isabel's making fun of him? So what I'm going to do is, I'm obviously going to do a bit more terraforming. Actually, I'm going to do my morning chores first, but I'm not going to include this in the video. Okay, so I can't find my money spot. I have just no idea where it is. So I'm just going to get started on, you know, I'm going to shake first because I might get something cute from the trees. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I want my entrance to look, which is kind of why I'm stalling on building it. But I'm definitely leaning towards Castle City Core. I ended up going to a treasure island and I, I didn't record it because it's because I spent a long time sort of getting recipes and castle pieces and other things that I'll need for the builds. And I went to Harps Island and it turns out I haven't actually been to Harps Island. And the quickest way I found that out was I went to the airport and I sort of went through the, oh, I want to visit somebody and then I chose Harps Island. And they were like, Harp, oh, you mean Harvey. And that's the, the first set of dialogue when you go to Harps Island for the first time that you get. Can I put this here? So I'm just going to put this here. Yeah. 
You know, I've probably already moved the shop already. I think there's enough space. Oh, this is perfect. I drank just enough of the cherry smoothies to pick up all the trees. So that was a happy accident. Oh no, I'm supposed to be getting rid of the water, not creating more. So I'm almost done. Yay. I think I'm only going to demolish a small portion of this and we'll see what happens. Now I just have to find places for these trees and then I can leave the shop. So I'm just going to put this back here. So this needs to be empty here. There's definitely three. So that needs to... So if I'm covering that, I've screwed up, basically. Oh, right, first time. Let's imagine it. Yeah, this is a great idea. It's like, oh, I want to go to the roost. Yeah, not going to happen. But what I am going to do is I want to put this pipe behind here. We're going to pretend you can't see that. But just for laughs, I am going to walk down my new ramp because my new incline because it's so much fun. Yep. The things that give you great joy when you're old. And Mac was hiding behind a tree and I need to be concerned. So this is everything that I can do today. So what I'm gonna do is, I can't even remember. I'm gonna time travel forward to the next day and then move the, the tailoring shop. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Arundel, it's 3.26 p.m. on Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Now for today's announcements. Today our museum welcomes its newest addition, a cafe called The Roost. The owner Brewster may be a bird of few words, but his coffee is so good it can say it all for him. Blathers, our museum curator, has informed me that like the museum, the cafe will be open 24 hours a day. I know I can't wait to duck in for a quick coffee break and I bet a lot of you can't wait either and of course we'll be holding a special commemorative cere ceremony to celebrate the happy news if you're interested in participating and have the time please check tom with tom nook in resident services that's all for today have a fun day out there
I don't do any of those celebratory services. Is that bad? I mean, I used to try and force myself, but I just hated it. Hello everybody, so this is day 17. I'm just going to obviously move the tailoring shop and try and upgrade my house again. And hopefully I should be ready to start a build, theoretically. Or my entrance build. I still don't have any idea what I'm going to do, but I guess I'll figure it out, right? So obviously I'm just going to put it up here next to the, all the others so it's like in a neat little row and at some point I'm going to move them these all of these things to different places. Let's imagine it. exciting so I'm gonna go in and have some coffee at the roost I'm not a coffee drinker in real life I'm more of a tea person oh I got someone in here it's done hey yeah Thanks for passing on that message back on the remote island. You ever find yourself in need of a coffee? You ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee? Just swing on by. Coffee is 200 bells. Care for a cup? Yes, please. Sure. Mmm, <laughs> warm. Nothing like a fresh cup of hot coffee to warm my whole body. Yay! Koo, thank you very much. Yeah, let's go. Oops. I didn't run into the wall at the time, yay! <laughs> and now it's time for me to try and travel to the next day. Good morning everyone. Right now in Arundel, it's 7.38 a.m. on Thursday, February 15th, 2024. I don't have any big news to share with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. Snowy days like today always put a chill in my bones that I can't shake. Luckily, nothing warms my heart more than the sight of perfect little snowflakes dancing through the air. Sometimes I gently scoop them up with the net to look at their beautiful intricacies way up close. Oh yay! Anyone with the DIY recipes app should have received my recipe for a snowflake brief. So if you're a snowflake catcher like me, now you can use them to make a beautiful winter decoration. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I was hoping she'd give me a hot chocolate recipe or something useful like that. My phone is ringing. I wonder who it could be. Hello, this is Tommy from Looks Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank account for 12,664 bells for what you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. So I'm just going to ignore all of this. And I'm going to go straight to... Oh, hello friend. Harv's Island. Because 
the second I get the hedge recipe, I can actually do the build, the entrance build. Or I can wing the entrance build. I think that's more of an honest statement. <laughs> I want to fly. Roger. So just to get get all the paperwork all official, where do you want to go? I want to visit Halves Island. Halves Island. Roger that. Good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Time for takeoff. Alright, let's get you open. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy? Got a walker who needs wings over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, Rens. And when you travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Touchdown like clipping coupons in a salt shaker. We're parked and proud. Give a quack to wing back. What would Dodos do? Honestly, that should be a t-shirt, right? That's fake, right there, because it's got the necklace, and the Venus de Milo doesn't have a necklace. Ooh. Oh, damn, Leaf is at my place. Oops. <laughs> oh, Amelia, welcome. I've got an idea for a hairstyle I've been dying to try out. <laughs> Wanna try a new look, Shrek? I'll give it a try. Glad to hear it, sugar. Just give me two shakes to get ready. Hopefully it's a hairstyle I like. Hint, hint. Okay, let's get started. Okay, actually, I'll, st I'll stick with this one, actually. You're all set, shrug. Shrug. And you look fabulous. What do you think? Do you like your new hairstyle? Love it. I'm so glad you do. You'll have to remember this hairstyle for future do-overs. Okay, sugar, you're all set. Harriet taught me a new hairstyle. I can choose it whenever I want. At a vanity mirror. I can't remember whether this is real. You know, I'm not going to buy it because I'm going to start a whole bunch of dialogue. And that's not why I'm here. So that's a bummer. So I'm going to go back home because Leaf is clearly at my house. <laughs> train, yet, yo <laughs> train wreck yogurt parfait is reporting. Tango archery is go. Do you require assistance over? Ready to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Cherrytown? Yep. Roger, let's pack snacks and make tracks. Okay, bye fellas. It was fun hanging out. Oh, how embarrassing. Still no fly. There he is. Tricking me. Well, hello. It sure was wonderful to see you on Harv's Island. So as you saw, I set up a little shop on Harv's Island, but don't worry. I'll still come here from time to time to sell my flowers and plants just like I did before. Oh, hello. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? And shrubs too. You're so lucky because today I'm selling the beloved Carmelia. This is the time of year when it looks its very best, so plant this little friend soon while it's in season. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. Oh, no, um, hedge recipe. Oh yes, I'd love to introduce you to the little seeds and starts that I've got with me today. Um, 
Amelia, have I ever told you that you remind me of a radiant pansy? Hmm. Although at this moment I'm getting a lily vibe. The point is, you're one of my very best customers and I have a little thank you gift for you. Yay! I got the hedge recipe! <laughs> this is a recipe for a hedge. I actually seriously thought I was going to have to time travel to another day to get this hedge. I'd be so happy if you were to use it in your own gardening pursuits. So I'm going to go to the back of the island to check and see what I actually have. I can probably dig one of these up and check, right? I've got carrots. So I don't have either of those two things. So I'm going to go back to my good friend Leaf. Wow, I sound like red. And I'm going to buy some more things. Didn't see that one coming, did you? And I need to find a way to incorporate these sort of farming products into the sort of castle elegant core build that I want to do. I just need to find a new place for these flowers. And there's a little pizza in the oven, it's a bit distracting. Maybe I should put this over here and move this somewhere else. Yeah, I'll put this here, right here. So that's exciting. How many times can I say that word? So I just need pumpkins and sugar, and that's it. So thanks for watching this rather long Let's Play Animal Crossing. So I feel like I've done everything that I need to do in order to prepare my next build. Like all the buildings have moved, there's no houses in the way. Obviously I need to dig up an entire forest which I foolishly planted, but hey, we live and learn. But I won't bore you to tears with that. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode, which will be my entrance build. I've got no idea what it's going to look like, but I'll figure it out. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Bye!